Hey guys, Margaret Adele here, and we are still in the middle of November of NaNoWriMo, so I thought that I would do a video, aside from other vlogs, because um, I know those aren't everyone's cup of tea, about just how useful is NaNoWriMo, is the National Novel Writing Month, uh, because every time it comes up, someone somewhere starts complaining that 50,000 isn't a book, and you're all slave to your keyboards that assume that at the end of the month you're going to have a perfectly ready draft of a novel and all that kind of stuff. Um, and a quick disclaimer about me. I am not published. Working on it. Trying. <laughs> Still looking for an agent, but not published yet. However, I have done NaNoWriMo for like five years and have won every single time. Um, and I've also done camps and I've won. Uh, so I'm pretty much a vet of NaNo, um, but not published. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, but this is just me, my first four rays into getting published, into getting an agent, and the little bit of experience that has given me in reference to this. And uh, if you've seen me looking down a lot, I have my notes right here. Um, and yes, it's bright pink because it was unclear. It's <laughs> uh, so first we're going to talk about what Nano is not good for. Uh, and first of all, it's not good for creating a ready-made book. Uh, I think a lot of people who haven't been around the writing community for a while tend to assume that, oh, I wrote the first draft and now I can go to get it published. And in fact, the majority of writing is actually editing. Um, your first draft isn't going to be publishable material. Your second draft probably won't be third, fourth. You'll go through a ton. So of course, at the end of the month, you're going to have this heinously messy draft that you word vomited onto the page so of course now at the end of November you won't have anything resembling something that can be published um it still needs to be heavily edited and I wish there was like a, a nano edmo or something that was focused on editing because that's the thing that I now struggle with I say now and I'll get to that later uh so something to be like hey it's time to edit like now start editing like the way that nano does with the writing is is something I would love to have. Um, I've actually talked about that before, having like a 24-hour edit-a-thon or something, but regardless, not what it's good for. It's also not good for creating a standard-sized book for a lot of genres. Now, 50,000 words can be considered a full book for something like mid-grade or romance, but most people, agents in particular, agree that you need something bigger for uh, especially adult books. When I first sent in a manuscript to a publisher that I had written, it was originally 52,000 words. Um, the agent who requested the full thing, actually, uh, basically said, in general, this genre is 80,000 words. Now, that's not why she rejected it. There were some other things, and um, I did a lot of editing to it since then, and I added a lot more words since then. It's now at 86, um, but that's the idea. I've looked at agencies who said they will not accept an adult manuscript less than 75,000 words. Um, so 50,000 technically, yes, is a novel, especially if you're doing mid-grade, but you usually need to go longer or bigger uh, for most adults and even most YA these days. Uh, granted, it's all based on genre. Uh, contemporary can also be a little bit less too, I think, but you're not going to have even a full draft of a commercial adult novel with 50,000 words at the end of the month. So it's not necessarily the best for that either. Um, and what it's also not the best for, not useful for, is improving the quality of your writing. Again, this is not editing. You are not stopping to double check your work. You are word vomiting it onto the page under the assumption that a bad draft is better than no draft. You can edit something that you've created, even if it's bad, but you can't edit nothing. Um, so again, you're not necessarily going to prove your writing in general. That's something you learn, again, in editing. Uh, now, you can improve your writing if finishing your manuscripts is something you struggled with. That was me. Um, but I'll, again, I'll get to that a little bit later. Next up is what writing uh, or what the tips may be good for. Uh, what the writing in general, uh, writing tips they give you. NaNoWriMo gives standard um, little messages in your inbox when you make a NaNoWriMo account that gives you various tips. Now, a lot of the times they're helpful, um, but there have been some times where I look at the, the little box 
the little inbox and, and look at the just the title of the message be like eh, it's probably isn't gonna be for me and the message I can't remember anything in particular right now but there have been times where the you know the message from the writer that they give you doesn't apply to you at all um, in some cases it'll actually make you mad I believe this NaNoWriMo someone uh, one of the messages was about like you know sometimes writing will just suck and everyone was like well if you think writing sucks why are you giving these encouraging messages at all and it was taken way out of context for some reason when it was literally just a case of yeah sometimes this is hard um, so the tips may or may not be helpful to you it may or may not be useful to you um, but that's in general all writing tips I know there's the thing going around where the guy had a list and on the list said about how like having an internet connection was bad for you or something and that made everyone mad uh, <laughs> so take every writing tip with a grain of salt and know that what m worked for that writer may not work for you but I wanted to end this video on a positive note so I want to talk about what it definitely is good for what uh, the big selling point of NaNoWriMo is especially for me so when I was a writer for most, well, I've been a writer for most of my life, um, and I sucked at actually finishing a story. I was that kind of Leonardo da Vinci type writer. Not that I'm a genius, just that I have the same struggles that he did creatively, where you get started on the story, and the first, like, 20,000 words is awesome, they fly out of you, and then you get to the second, third, where you're all building up, and you're, you get tired, and you're like, okay, so I gotta move this forward, and then that shiny new idea pops into your head and suddenly that's the story you want to be writing and you abandon the last one and go to the next one so you've got a ton of partially done manuscripts and not a single one finished because the bright new story always distracts you and so that was my issue for basically the first two decades of my life I had a computer filled with files of partially done manuscripts and a single one done um no I took that back I finished one when I was 19 but it is <laughs> cliche tropic YA trash and it will never see the light of day but uh, Nano, when I first started it, um, actually July, um, a July camp, it helped me to actually sit down and create daily habits to get to the end of this challenge. It was a case of, I am going to make time to work on this specific manuscript and I'm going to stick to this specific manuscript because I've told thousands of other people that I connected with, well, I didn't connect with them directly, but you get the point, that I uh, announced that I was going to do this, and it was that little push to dedicate all of my writing time to this specific idea and not veer off uh, when the next fancy thing came in my head. Uh, the other thing it is very useful for um, is that it fosters a larger writing community. Um, yes, there are naysayers. Yes, there are people who look down on it, so obviously not in entirely cohesive homogenous writing community but being able to tag anything with the NaNoWriMo hashtag on Twitter and know that other people are going to see it and commiserate with me um, I don't know that I need this as much these days because the Twitter community uh, for writers is so hardcore is so together I tag anything with the hashtag am writing or writing community and I know other people are going to see it. I know I'll get encouragement. I've gotten a ton of more followers. Not that that matters to me because I almost always follow back so it's not a case of, oh look at all the followers I have. Uh, so for me, I probably would rely more on the am writing community on Twitter than I would Nano, but uh, Nano is a great way to bring new people in and to, to grow the writing community with, you know, the, the, the newbies to the vets and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so in general, this video has been very rambly and I apologize, but in general, NaNoWriMo is incredibly useful as a step in your writer journey. If you've struggled like I did with going to that next new fancy thing or you still labor under that, well, I just can't find the time to write. Nano teaches you to make the time. Maybe it's you give up watching your favorite TV show that week to work on your writing, or you give up going out with friends, or you give up a little less sleep to focus on it. You make the time for it. And this basically is your big gauntlet to get through. And no, you won't necessarily be writing that much every day the rest of the year, but it helps you make those daily habits. It helps you make writing your priority in your daily life. Uh, now, I know there are people who will basically have Nano 
and they won't really do much writing the other times of the year. They'll wait to the next camp or they wait till, till what have you. And that's fine too. Um, but for me, this helps me actually work on other things and, and work on bigger projects. Um, one of the, the manuscript I finished just before this nano, uh, was a 90,000 piece that I did outside of it. So I wrote 90,000 words outside of nano, the longest complete manuscript I've written to date. I have another open-ended manuscript that's like 160,000 because I don't know when to stop it. I'll probably chop it up later, but that's for another video. Uh, it helps me move forward and it helped me break through a barrier that had been plaguing me for literal years and it introduced me to a writing community. So in short, Nano is not going to make you a published author by the end of the month. It's not even going to give you a manuscript that can be published by the end of the month. You will probably have to do a lot of, well, definitely have to do a lot of editing and probably have to do a lot of writing outside of the month. It is still useful. I would still encourage people to at least try it once to see if you can do it, to see if you can make those daily habits that are necessary for it. Um, you're still a writer if you haven't done it. You're still a real writer if you've never wanted to try it. But if you've ever wanted to push yourself and actually see if you can't make this hobby of yours into something more, then I would definitely go for it. It's, a, it's an important step in your writer journey. At least it's been for mine. So that's it. That's my rambly video. I hope you haven't been too bored watching this. Um, please comment down below what Nano has helped you with. If you've ever had to struggle through something and, and Nano helped you, or if you're if you still don't see the point in it, uh, feel free to comment that too. I'd love to make a discussion. This is something I love to talk about. Um, but beyond that, I hope you have a wonderful day and a fabulous tomorrow. Bye.